All right, thanks for watching. And today I want to calculate a really, really cool derivative, which I originally wanted to do in a different language, but this is so cool. Let's just do it in English. And the function we want to differentiate is x to the x to the x. So tres x, not dos x. And there's a really, really nice way of doing it. Because sure, you can write this as e to the ln of x times something else, but in order to differentiate this, why not just use logarithmic differentiation? So take ln of both sides, and so you get ln of x to the x to the x, which becomes x to the x times ln of x, and usually for logarithmic differentiation, you just differentiate it. But I thought, why not just go one step further? Let's do logarithmic logarithmic differentiation. So take ln of ln of that. So ln of ln of y, that's ln of x to the x, ln of x. Well, and that's ln of x to the x plus ln of ln of x. And in the end, this becomes x ln of x plus ln of ln of x. All right, so what do we get? ln of ln of y, it's x ln of x plus ln of ln of x. And now it's differentiation time. So let's differentiate this side using what? The Chen loop. And we get the derivative of this is 1 over ln of y times the derivative of the inside, which is 1 over y times y prime, equals to the derivative of the right-hand side, which becomes ln of x plus x times 1 over x, which becomes 1, plus 1 over ln of x times 1 over x. All right, so that's good. So we have this weird identity that involves derivatives or whatnot. And now remember what we want to solve for. We want to solve for y prime. So let's just multiply everything by ln of y times y. And then we end up getting y prime equals to y ln of y times all this junk, ln of x plus 1 plus 1 over x ln of x. And well, what is y? y is just x to the x to the x. ln of y, I like to remind you, that's ln of x to the x to the x. And that's x to the x ln of x. So times this times x to the x ln of x, times this whole gibberish, so ln of x plus 1 plus 1 over x ln of x, which you can simplify to something quite nice. Well, so we get y prime equals to x to the x to the x times x to the x times, if you want, ln of x squared plus ln of x plus 1 over x. And so in the end, this gives you the derivative of x to the x to the x. And of course, you can then just see a pattern. The more, uh, if you want to find, let's say, the derivative of x to the x to the x to the x, you would just take ln three times and use the same technique and get a nice answer. So it would be cool if someone actually worked it out and see what the answer you get. But anyway, I hope you like this little math extravaganza. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.